that with Pat's two cents with a beautiful comment from one of my viewers named Alexine. This is her reaction to me speaking about not letting others poo-poo on you and or your gifts. I'm here listening to your message on Tuesday midday while I telework. I'm in my living room with my Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Your message is a good, strong one. I'm jotting down notes and rewinding and thinking how God is with you delivering the message. I just had to hit pause and email you in this moment because I'm amazed that just when I picked up an old box of pastels and sat them on my lap, I pulled out the little box to examine the colors and decided which one to use on the back of my little improvised sketchbook. How curious is that? I was in the process of entering feedback in a spreadsheet for my job and in the middle of the task, I randomly reached over across the coffee table and picked up the pastels Meanwhile, listening to you on the video, when I pulled out my little box with the pastel crayons nested inside, you immediately spoke of picking up and opening an old box of pastels. Took my breath away. Come on. What are the chances? <laughs> and my box of pastels is old too. <laughs> I didn't know we had them. They were shipped to us five years ago as school supplies for my son. And a few months ago, I again randomly came across them just at the time that I became interested in pastels as an art device. You also spoke of your mother's regrettable comment about lack of perspective with your drawing. Coincidentally, I have an in-touch article open that my mother posted today on Facebook. I kept the tab open so I would remember to read it later, but I was intrigued at the perspective. <laughs> I had spent several minutes studying the cover image and thinking about perspective. <laughs> this was less than an hour before I looked up your video. God is so interesting. I also noted and reread 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 because it stood out to me when you read it. I have read and spoken verse 7 many times, but verse 6 never stood out to me as it is right now. That is, quote, stir up the gift of God that is in thee. Reminds me of another comment a sister pastor in the faith often said to a group of women in worship and prayer that stuck with me. You have to open your mouth. <laughs> I always wondered what exactly she meant. My praise and prayers are on the quieter side, just like my personality. My words are best expressed in written form. Since you two are in art, I will share this small three by three inch abstract pastel that I mounted to a wood block this weekend. The block is 5.75 square inch and I painted with ultramarine blue golden fluid acrylic. I used matte gel medium to adhere the art piece before adding a finish of clear gloss medium. I had initially made a full page pastel design earlier this year. And from that, I chose the three by three portion for this project. You talked about the danger of dabbling a few weeks ago. There are a lot of artist groups, free workshops offered. And so often my spirit or the spirit in me warns me to be cautious or not to proceed. So many of the artists are in some things, some practices, some aims that are off the path, so to speak. As our Holy Father's children, we want to do everything unto the Lord and walk worthy of our calling. 
I am always hearing in my spirit, the Lord is my banner. One might say, well, you can bring the true light of Christ into the dark places. Yes, with discernment and sometimes from a safe distance. Have a fine day. Thank you for sharing. Quote, may we depend more on God's leverage than on our own strength. More on God's wisdom than our own intellect. Close quote. That was from one of my videos. Thank you so much for sharing that, Alexine. God bless you. And for those of you who want to hear the video she was referring to, for the most part, it was entitled, They Don't Value You, Don't Want to Hear You, God Does. And the link will be below and at the end of this video. Thank you. <music>